Okay. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> this is me and Dwee. Uh, this might be uh, the last in our session. I'm not sure if we'll do one more or not. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think we've covered a lot of things for his level, you know, 10 to 15 Q, you know, just starting out. How do you play Go? How do you think about the board? And I think it's been really useful. Uh, so let's take a look at his game. <clears throat> okay, he's the Blackstones. Now, something I've mentioned before, and this doesn't have to do with proper play, but rather this, uh, we, what we have here is four, four, four stones. Yeah. While if black plays this way, we have at least one offset and it lets you, all of a sudden there's just seckies to choose and it's, Having one corner that's different helps to learn about Go. Yeah. So nothing wrong with this, but if you do take one off center, then we tend to learn more. Approach, all fine. And of course, we know that, you know, they're all fine. Whatever you want to do is fine. Okay, definitely yeah, this is a... something to talk about. Yep. So, what? Walk me through how you think. What? What? What do you do? This is so strange. Yeah. So this is a strange move on a second line. Uh, initially, I thought I shouldn't be too bothered with it, but then again, I, I thought um, you know. Uh, this corner as is, is still kind of open. So I might just take an enclosure uh, on one side. And I think I took it on the side that his stone is on. So on R14, mm -hmm. just to, on the one hand, create a connection with the star point stone, but on the other hand, to keep the uh, S16 stone low as well. Uh -huh. Um, so your, what you've said so far is all about the A area. Yeah. But you haven't talked about the B area. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so, uh, the other odd mo mo thing that, um, that, uh, I noticed here is that he didn't finish the Choseki. Uh-huh. So... I was hesitating whether to play in area B as well, but it, as is, it currently looks even for black and white. That being said, uh, I think we discussed last time as well, the fact that he didn't finish the Joseki probably means that I have a, a good move or a severe move somewhere in that area, uh, but I didn't play it. So I, I chose to react to area a okay <clears throat> so, so uh, we're going to go through that again <clears throat> yeah and the um and again it's all you know we're trying to figure out you know how do you navigate so we have an unfinished corner at b which pretty much means we good likelihood we can get an advantage here yeah so we want to play in the b area Right. But he just did something in our A corner. So how do we sort this out? So the primary thing is defense first. This mm -hmm. simple idea is going to get you through massive number of situations. Just make yeah. sure everything's fine. Don't worry about getting the upper hand. No, just defend yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Up to one dot. I mean, it's okay. Right. The other thing I was thinking is that because he left the Joseki at the unfinished, he kind of owes a, a move there. So yeah. I can always come back when he does play that. Yeah. 
Okay, so I agree. We're going to play on A. Let's see what you did. This is, um, I would say this is a hard thing to know at most, at any amateur level. It's just such a weird move. How do you respond to weird moves? When I see your move, I'm seeing an entire picture being drawn in the entire area one, top, left, center. Now, I know that's completely fantasy, but that's what you're doing is drawing a huge picture. I love this picture. <laughs> I would say, I, I don't know what the move I'd come up with, but this looks perfect to me. Totally surrounding white. Not being afraid of the cut because white's the weak one, not me. So, yeah. yeah. Good. Yes, surround. Good. Fix. Uh, notice your... So there's a bunch of cuts here. And the idea of, well, which one do we fix? Well, yeah. I hate leaving this. He can just uh, walk just walk under it's like oh man so i i couldn't let that happen that's too easy for him so i'd switch to here of course that means he can walk this way but here you're drawing the picture you want to the same uh, picture yeah. you started with while here you're missing that top area it seems yeah, is oh, it right. also because uh, he's on the second line with his S16 stone, which is lower than at the top? Yes. Mm, yeah. That's, that's okay. also seen. Well, yeah, it's hard to say. This is all very subtle stuff. It's all, whatever you're doing here, it's very positive. And mm -hmm. I've always felt the hardest move for me to understand is the one where I have five moves and they're all wonderful. Finding the best <laughs> wonderful move is really hard. He does come under. And you play here, which totally saves the cut. But this also totally saves the cut. It's just a net. Yeah. And this is just a stronger, more straightforward move. Right, yeah. But still, you did the job. Ah. So, does this black move save the cut? No, it's already saved. Yeah. Does this cut white? No. I can't think of any reason to play this move. Mm, I think my reason or my thought process back then was that I didn't want to give him a free Atari, like a free move, even though it doesn't really threaten my group yeah. that much. Yeah, it's it's a wrong idea because it's it, it doesn't help you, doesn't hurt him, unnecessary, yeah. let him have the yeah. Atari. Would you say that uh, this black group is already healthy? That's a great question. Okay. If we wanted to get healthy, hey, we can go to one. Nice regular extension. Or we could go to two. And I guess you could say we could also run to the center with three. So we could say we have three options for health. Yeah. I don't like it because they're all center options. Well, I guess one. So I believe I would play here because if I don't, we don't have any base. All we have is center. Yeah. And there's an idea that if you have one eye and running into the center, we call that healthy, and that's all good and fine. But no eyes and running into the center is way more difficult. I'm getting two yeah. eyes in the center is significantly more difficult than getting one eye in the center. So for that reason, I would I would make this base. But it's yeah. hard to say that you're not. I mean, you sure look healthy. I have to agree. This is nothing. And the sente, and you're pushing again. Let's just 
I feel like I'm wasting a lot of words this morning, but we'll keep working through it here. So let's say you yeah. don't do anything and he comes up. Can you, honey? Well, there's a problem. This is his sente. All of a sudden yeah. he can escape. So you you have a weakness here. So the idea of playing again gets rid of that weakness. Okay. I accept that. I'm even thinking it might be best. I, I hate having that weakness there. Mm -hmm. So now you're completely fixed. So if he were to play, that issue's gone. Mm. And now you're looking pretty good. I think I could play away to here. Yeah. Okay. So Yeah, I think I defied some principles in the next few moves. <laughs> yeah. So I like this black move. I'm not ready to say it's best, but it's understandable. Makes sense. Okay. He plays away saying you got a pretty good wall. And we? Yes. Good. Okay. I was not so sure because I, th I, I think this is a quite severe move. How many had had two stones, but I wasn't sh sure. Yeah. But I should have played something bigger. Yeah. Now, if we ask, did my a group need defense no no is no. his are we going to be attacking his b group no he's alive then why the heck are we turning okay when he turns that group we notice all of a sudden it doesn't have a base yeah we start finding the desire to either respond here or respond here and let's just assume that's here and all of a sudden look at the top area wow how do i get so big there and if we turn and he does nothing it's a huge black area yeah this is kind of a big who's going to get the top yeah move i like this he plays here okay yeah so at the moment that's a real cut yeah and we could say that we have two weak groups that might be an overstatement but still we're seeing two different groups and neither one's mm -hmm. alive when you play here you're not cut anymore and that's a very pleasant black area so i love the move good he fixes are we concerned about the cut there's nothing but black stones there. Uh, I was concerned about the cut, though. Because so let's, and this is a great this this kind of thing is what ten Qs wonder about. Yeah. Either they're afraid, and they shouldn't be, or they're not afraid, and they should be. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. So in your head, you imagine the cut, and you say, "How's my A group? Give me a break. It's just." gobs of room all over the place yeah what about the b side well a little tighter yeah but it's my move mm. who's weak black or white uh white so based on that i'm not concerned right yeah okay comes in we again walk me through this thinking uh so he comes in i think quite high on the fourth line um so i was thinking uh he doesn't have a base here yet uh and also if he gets an extra move uh let's say at d8 suddenly uh my black group my a group is look starting to look weak so i wanted to create some kind of a base or an extension from my a group to ensure that i'm not being forced to run as a as a stick help uh, a whilst, hurt b. well yeah whilst also attacking b indeed yeah yeah now there's ways to get sidetracked here <clears throat> we can imagine some not so bad players saying yeah but if i attack from this side i'm getting a very big area and then i can always run out mm -hmm. 
So you hear these excuses all the time, or this these this reasoning all the time. You know, well, you know, if I start here and and get this whole group settled and then attack, right? So there's all these strategies. Yep. How do we sort them all out? If we follow the most basic idea, we're going to be right way in the 90 percentile. Help A, hurt B. End of story. Just do it. Don't worry about, and that's exactly where you played. I just put that down where I would play, and it happened <laughs> to be where you would play. Yeah. And it's like, don't worry about the strategies and what ifs and all. I mean, when you're nine done, sure, do whatever you want. Do all the crazy strategies you feel fit to do. But before that, just play the basic move. Nice. Don't let him in the corner. Ooh. Looks like two moves to consider. B is bigger and more aggressive. Do we have the right to be aggressive here? Oh, yeah. And you did. Very nice. Yeah, that's silly. But like this move, what in the heck do I do? <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like now it's like it's... you're reading my mind because it's uh, th this is indeed one of the moves that yeah. I spent more time on. Yeah. Well, here we are. What in the heck? It's got to be a bad move, but what the heck do I do? Very difficult. Yep. So, I, you know, I would start sorting it out. First thing I would notice, he can't hurt my A-stone. It is simply out. I don't have to think about my A-stone. He cannot mm. surround it. Okay. It's my B group that he's coming after. So that's the first yeah. thing. I would get that settled in my mind. Okay, defend B. Because clearly, I am now behind enemy lines, and I'm not necessarily alive. Mm, okay. okay. How do I help my B group? Well, probably A or B. Yeah. Which one stands out? Uh, Honda the header two. So A certainly stands out as a move that we've heard about. Uh, helps you, hurts him. Yeah. This one is a great move. Why is it a great move? It's making the A area huge as long as we survive. What are our chances of surviving? Oh, we're just alive. Let's see. I would assume this move is better than mine because it works and it's big. It was huge. So I think it's biggest. Let's, if, if I'm white, I might consider great. I'm coming in your corner. Really? This he can't combat this. What here? <laughs> what here? Still sent it here. Where's the problem? There's no problem. So I think he <laughs> moved his best, but it's holds a risk. Now I think it's yeah. a very proper risk. I think it's the, a proper move. But if someone's confused, I say, well, well, how about you help your corner? Okay, now you're virtually alive. If he tries anything, you're just, okay, so you're alive now. Then we yeah. deal with step two. Yeah. Your move is more advanced, but I think it's perfect, really huge move. He plays there. That's the big threat. He fixes. Tari, uh-huh, looks like he's just dead and you're not. And then kill it. I'm certainly not against it, but uh, let's just walk it through. <clears throat> White says, no, this corner thing's important. Yeah, I agree. I'm not, I'm done with the corner. I'm not. It makes a little more mm. sense. I mean, this is the more logical idea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, your move fixes the cut by killing white. So I'm not against it. 
matter of fact, I love it. It solves all your problems. There might be fancier moves. Just split them. But I got no problem with your move at all. Totally settles the issue. This move is obviously fine, but notice he can now get an eye. An eye. Mm. But if you're Atari first, he can't. Oh, but then he cuts me. Uh, well, I already dealt with that. Yeah. So you, you can get rid of the eye here in Sente. Yeah. I missed the force move. Yeah. 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 Okay. A lot just happened. He just got an eye. So we're going to take a breath and ask our A group in general. Perfectly fine. Our two stones specifically. Oh, he's dead. Therefore, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. So black's fine here. The white A group, they're dead. No questions. The white B group, alive. Yeah. So we won't be attacking them. Yeah. Okay. The only, the last piece is this A stone. Yeah. Well, our area one is pretty much settled. It's ours. Not much he can do about that. So we don't want to take area one. There's the idea of taking the entirety of this new black center area. Mm. Well, it's a little hard to do. He can just run out. So it looks like we're done there. I don't see anything else to do. So this move, what's it doing? Nothing. Mm. No attack, I no see. defense, no size. I guess I was afraid he would connect his lone stone with his left group. So I wanted to disconnect. Uh -huh. like the, so let's the a stone uh, here. Just play a nothing move and have him connect. And we play another nothing move. And he says, aha. So nothing. Yeah. How many extra points did he get? Two, maybe, in two moves? How many points did he remove from us? None that I can see. So it's just nothing. Mm, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is a big deal for beginning players, you know, 10 q -ish. If you can get rid of the nothing moves, basically passing, that's what this is. It's like pass. <laughs> yeah. If you can learn to just, if you name the basic idea and accomplish one basic idea, you're not 10 anymore. So here. Should we defend? No. Should we attack? No. Play in a big area. Done. You tank you. I mean, you're above that. So that's a that's a big goal. Okay. Here he comes up, splitting. Now notice, you're saying, I really want to keep my A stone safe. They're safe. Go ahead. Cut me. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the wrong button here. On a double honey? Is there uh, some yeah. reason not to? You have no problems here. He's the one with uh, problems. Oh, but he'll just Atari and kill me. It's just, it's not a problem. Yeah. He's just massively weak there. Yeah. I forgot about my own defense yeah. that I set up uh, that I set up yeah. earlier. And that sort of thing happens constantly. So it's not like, oh, I made this horrible mistake. No, we all forget that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here's the move that's kind of a pass. So let's look at the bottom left. We haven't had a chance to do that yet. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I have some concern about our B group because white's pretty strong on the top side. And if we look in the center, it's basically all white stones. So I'm concerned. So when I think about his C group, I'm thinking about this is the way to deal with things. 
mm -hmm. hurt him and don't get too far away from my weak group. But earlier, earlier, let's say here, we have this move, but I'm not concerned about my two stones. Right, yeah. Now, this is a fine move. I'm going to give this 80, 85%. And I played this for decades. This was my move in these situations. Mm -hmm. And then a well-known nine don says, well, you know, yeah, that's a good move, but this is even better. So I've been playing this for about two years now. And it's like, it's just better. Because, well, first, Q players always play here. And then they need another move, and they usually don't take it, so I kill the corner anyway. But if they play, it's like significantly better. Okay, so in the game, since we're concerned about the group, I would probably play this one. Let's get back to where you did it. There it is. Yeah, I like it. Oh, but he's going to... Cut our group off. Give me a break. He is so weak in the corner. I, I just, with no reading, I wouldn't be concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're fixing the cut. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. But if you play this in Sente, it's going to be double Atari, right? Assuming he fixes uh, yeah. it out. Still sente. He does not want you surrounding. That you're yeah. just not cut. So you never had to go back and spend a move. Mm. So you saved a whole move. Yeah. Okay. Comes out. And now you're now you're uh oh. No eyes really. Behind yeah. enemy lines. Big difference. The other one, you're so alive. Oh yeah, you're, see. you're alive and thick in here very different so <clears throat> when i think about the things we've gone over in this is this game five or six for us uh i think maybe four or five let's go with five then because i think we already did four but i could be wrong um when i think about the things we've looked at it's mostly been getting you more comfortable with just looking at your groups as a primary. Well, I'm just looking at my groups. And then to that, we're adding, how can I make my primary move more efficient? Yeah. And uh, we've seen some good examples of that. And you've totally way better understanding. So. I would say at this point, any that you're at least 10Q and on up now. And as you're starting to get a little more efficient on these moves, like this here was such a great example. This move. Yeah, yeah. It's something you completely know and understand, but it's not quite at your fingertips yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, th I think here I, I had said for a long time because I obviously play an empty triangle here and that's obviously a bad shape. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was still too uncomfortable with the cut, even though because I, I forgot about my own yeah. ladder uh, yeah. at the top. So I just wanted to be safe. Yeah. Uh, safe. But yeah, it's, it's getting more comfortable with these kind of situations, I think, yeah. from here on. So you're, as I look at your game, I'd say you're very prepared to stumble into 5Q. Mm. It's just a matter of, oh, that's right. That yeah. situation, oh, that's right. And it's like, you're there. But it just takes some experience to remember. Yeah, as you're I, just need to get to, I, I just need to be playing more. <laughs> so I like this move. I believe it's the move I play, but I would be extremely aware of this gap I've left. Yeah. Because he is quite close. 
Now, what I'd be doing in my head, <clears throat> there's no way I'm going to pull back. I simply wouldn't do it. It looks too slow. So I yeah. come out here. But in the back of my head, I'm going, but what am I going to do? Now, two things are in my head. One, oh, I'm sure it'll work out. Okay. Then the second thing, I'm actually not that sure. I might need to sacrifice the A stone to get my B group out. That's what I'd be thinking. Yeah. Oh, it'll work out. But if it doesn't, I might need to give up the A stone. So, for right. instance, uh, if we play this out, I'm like, okay, I might need to uh, let you have that stone and go do something else. I don't know. Yeah. But I'd be like, okay, let me read it out. Does this work? Yeah. Hey, I only have to give those stones up, which, uh, which he has to fix. So it all worked out anyway. Yeah. But I wouldn't know. And I'm too lazy to stop. Okay, let me read it out. I don't want to read it. I'm going to play the same move. Even if it doesn't work, I'm going to play the same move. So I'm a very lazy player. I'm a very lazy person. Just ask my wife. Okay. Place here. Thank you for letting me connect. Thank you so much. Okay, so you're about to fix. Did you notice the empty triangle? Uh, yes, yeah. I, I do now. <laughs> I hate empty triangles. They make me kind of queasy in my stomach. Yeah. And, and that's actually not a joke. <clears throat> uh, and I tell my students this all the time. When you play a game and you play bad moves, review the game and look at those bad moves and and get it so they're like make you sick to your stomach when you when you review it's like oh my god i never want to do that again it's very <laughs> helpful to develop this emotional yeah. context so when i look at that i go well at the very least i'll put it here now i feel a lot better mm -hmm. Great. Now that I'm not playing that move, is there another one? Well, what about this one? Hey, holy cow, it works. And all of a sudden, wow, I came up with a significantly better move. Yeah. Okay. And it all starts with, yeah, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a good, that's a good tip. I'm curious about your next move. Most two players, oh, of course, we're going to play. Of course. And then we say, why? Well, I can't think of a reason exactly. Let's see if yeah. you did. Oh, you didn't. Good. Yeah, that's uh, one of my biggest takeaways from your uh, from the sessions I had with you. Is, uh, you mentioned before it's one of your pet peeves when people play end game moves uh, during mid game. Oh, or or in the middle game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this black move is saying I'm going to separate A from B. Yeah. And then we ask whoever the black stones are, why? Because I want to, you know, splitting attack. Well, A is already alive. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm doing actually is attacking the B stones. Right, yeah. yeah. They just escape. They can get out easily. Oh, so there's no attack? Right, there's no attack. So uh, this move is big on the bottom. It gives you a base, which you don't have yet. Mm. Still, I don't like it, because why can just, you know. So then what? Well, I guess the big question is, does our A group should we be defending our A group? That's the big question. Mm. Well, I guess we need to, I mean, it feels like yes, but let's, 
the rule is if we have three options for health, then we're healthy. So if we come down at A, is that a nine? I don't know. Ah, get on the right button here. Oh, uh, still not on the right button. Is that a nine? Well, we can go this way. Yes, it's an eye. Oh, okay. That's a nice step for health. Very mm -hmm. helpful. Okay. So that's one option. Uh, can we bother the A stones? Uh, yeah, they very much want to go home, don't they? Yeah. And um, there's three type of health moves. Running, making, uh, making an eye, Mm -hmm. and bothering your opponent. So, any move like this looks like Sente. Okay. So, our second option for health is bothering that group. So, that's we're up to two options. Yeah. We can run at three. We can run to the side. We can run to the bottom. This group has four options for health. I thought it had like one or two tops. Now I'm seeing four. Well, with four, I'm gonna do anything I want. I'm gonna treat this as super healthy. If I hadn't gone through that process, I would have probably defended the group because it looks mm -hmm. really weak to me. I don't like the shape. I don't like anything about it. It's like it actually has a lot of options. Yeah. So then what? Uh, I still want to play here in order to support that group. But I'm going to, whether I'm right or wrong, because I still feel that the group is weak. Yeah. But my choice is going to say, I'm going to act as if it's not weak. And I'm like, you better double check. I'm going, well, looks like four options to me. So I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to go 3-3. Three, three. Mm. It's all this corner away. I'm going to give him that wall. And then I'm going to start in defending myself. Yeah. Now, that could be a horrible idea because I'm very uncomfortable doing that because the group looks so weak, but it yeah. appears, it seems that it's not so weak. Okay, so you went here, he comes out. No, place here, connect. Yes. Yes, good for you. I totally expected you to play here. Very nice. Good. Coming out, which gets starts getting you home and totally, completely hurts that white group very nice oh mistake ah go after the group right yeah that's this is what i've been thing you want to do yeah. this is you getting sidetracked oh i yeah. guess you're going for area one so this is a good example here we have two options Grow area one by grow area one or attack the A group. Yeah. Attacking groups is almost always bigger than playing okay. yeah. and Gote. Okay. Uh, since we're here, let's look at the different ways of surrounding. I guess I'm seeing three next moves to attack that group. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, which one do we choose? Well, let's ask you. What's what's now that we have three options? What's what do you do? How do uh, we choose? So, I guess I immediately see that C is an Atari, which is kind of a uh, okay. I need to rephrase this because this we're going in a wrong direction. Oh, okay. So. <clears throat> the idea is our friend joe hypothetical joe calls us on the phone hey do we i'm in the middle of this go game i don't know where to play what do you you haven't seen the board what mm -hmm. that's the question joe has called us up and we haven't seen the board All right and he says you know i've got this uh white group uh, my opponent has this D group that I've decided I want to attack. What should I do? That's the question. And you haven't seen the board. What do you tell them? That's the perspective you need to get every time you want to find a move. Mm -hmm. Talk me through it. I'm Joe. Hey, Dewey, what should I do? Don't so look at the board. A, Don't look, stop looking at the board. So take you away his base. Board. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, take away his base if that's still possible. If he hasn't hasn't got a base yet, yet, take away his base. Yeah. It's all about the list. He's gone through the list. I'm fine. White's weak. I'm going to attack white yeah so joe is there another black group you can help as you're attacking white no mm. is there another white group you can hurt as you're attacking white mm, not really is there a bigger way is there some points you can start getting yeah. well you know do we actually i have a huge area one that right. I love to develop well then we won't be attacking this way yeah because it's white to go so into it. we're going to uh, play yeah. on the side of points yeah now let's keep that up and assume white finds life holy cow look at that center yeah so is this is this an example of attacking for profit yes which is uh, the only yeah. reason to attack of course well yeah. we we don't attack to kill maybe 10 percent of the time tops five yeah. percent chasing is way more profitable than killing yeah um so the point is that uh when we approach a problem we deal with it from a the theoretical how should we think about it mm -hmm. now I'm going to spend just another moment on this. Most players, especially Q players, they're thinking they start with a coordinate. Well, you know, if I play A, mm. but of course, if I play B and they choose a coordinate, one of 200, and they start going through all the coordinates and trying to read out all options and it's simply an invalid way of approaching the problem so instead if you ask should i be defending myself no should i be attacking yes man we're going we've just gone through 200 coordinates in the blink of an eye <laughs> yeah yeah so, so approaching it from this perspective is is really going to help uh go players Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Very big. But bigger, stronger, less cuts. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're still thinking of this kind of thing, which is just not a thing. Okay, it comes in here. Complete waste of time for white. Yes. Just play away. 
uh, this center has gotten so big, I would think very seriously about ignoring corners and sides. I mean, center here is getting really mm -hmm. enormous. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking of this kind of thing. You know, just as big as I can get it, because it's getting pretty serious. But I'm not against corner side center. Uh, this is side. This is corner. Corner's bigger. Is there some reason not to? I don't don't see it. Yeah. yeah. And there's the same thing. Theoretically, where should you play? Hey, hey, Joe calling again. Where should I play? Can you get in the corner? Yeah. But you didn't because you didn't approach it from the theoretical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. That's plenty. We saw a ton of stuff here. So groups. C groups, good, and approach all the problems, all the go puzzles from the theoretical. How should I be thinking about this? And that's going to start solving problems right and left. Yeah. Now, doing that in the middle of a game, well, just being clear minded in the middle of a game is hard enough, right? It's like. Yeah. Because the clock's running, the adrenaline's running, ego's going. I, I'm, for me personally, ego gets in the way constantly. I'm fighting my ego. Oh, I want to beat this guy. I don't. It's. I'm going to be embarrassed if I lose. All this stuff's going on in my head. Yeah. And it's, and it's very hard to just sweep it aside and say, let me just look at the next basic move. Okay. Good. Well. You know, I think we've covered everything we want to cover for our series here. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed and I appreciate yeah, all your help and all the yeah. questions. I really enjoyed it as well, Lance. And, uh, you know, even even though I didn't get much time to play a lot myself, yeah. even in the games that we discussed, I already feel that I'm thinking differently and I'm thinking hmm. about uh groups and strength and weaknesses so oh. yeah it's been really helpful as well for me good very glad to hear it okay viewers i hope you got something out of it that was my goal okay catch y'all later and also catch the uh we're doing this the same thing at the 5q level and the 10q level so take a look at those two okay bye